is up you guys welcome back to the brown compound today's video is a video that has also been way past due we got the red boat in the shop and for people that don't know what this is this is a hydro stream it's a 1973 i'm pretty sure and it's 17 foot and some change but i got this boat about two years ago and it's got a mercury 2.5 200 on the back of it fuel injected with a 20 inch offshore midsection um, low water pickup on lower unit but the floor is no good in this boat so that's our job we gotta rip the whole entire floor out and put a whole brand new floor back in oh seats gotta rip this back Ugh. wow whoa yeah see this is terrible look at this i could like look break a hole in it right now oh my god look oh my god look at that <laughs> yeah he told me he redid the floor too he didn't redo nothing oh look at that I don't mean to make a mess already. It's just like that. Yeah, this is like super soft too. Definitely needs a floor, if I had to say so. So if you can see right here, you can see where they didn't paint it and where it was. And it's like, they just went over top of the old stuff. Which doesn't make any sense to me, but you know, people don't make sense. They like to do things halfway and they'll put it on Facebook and someone like me comes and buys it. It's like an eggshell. All right, we gotta figure out how to get this gas tank out of here. I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna do that. Let's work on this too. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, they got some kind of foam. Ah. back piece here is really just nothing
don't know. Oh. My ends twisted. Oh my gosh, it's so hot and I'm so aggravated. My back hurts. This is like not not fun at all. Someone's got a grab. Oh my gosh. Well, that's one way to do it. <sighs> Like, what in the world is that? You guys see this? Yeah, check this out. What even is this? Like, that's our stringer. We got one piece, and it all just screwed in the side. And I want to know what is the that resin? It's like only on this side, and the rest of it. Oh, this brings back memories, man. Now, this, and you don't, you do not like have a relationship with the boat until you do this, because this right here, man. Yeah, this is probably not good. Yeah, that's definitely not good. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Our stringers are underneath of here. Those are just stringers for the floor. All right, starting to make a little bit more sense because I see that's a stringer. That's a fiberglass stringer. We're going to rip all this out. So, Ugh. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see our stringers now. Whoa. Yep, you see that? That's a stringer. And that's rotten wood, so we gotta get rid of all this. Wow, that escalated quickly. Whew. So now we just gotta clean up this side, get rid of this, get rid of the that area. We're coming along, coming along, pretty quick too. One eternity later. So we got the uh, the red boat out, the hydro stream. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know this boat, um, but it currently needs a floor. So I got the floor ripped out, um, but now what we're doing is we gotta rip out the rest. And the end conclusion with this boat is we gotta do the core. So the core is this piece that runs like right here. It's like a uh, probably an inch thick. It's like foam. I don't really know how to explain it, uh, but we got to grind it all out. What I thought I was going to have to do was just redo the top half, just the floor, until we got further in. And you can see the core is no good. So we're going to have to take these a uh, big grinding wheel. We're going to grind out all the core. I'm going to finish off cutting out the the uh, other part of the floor which is kind of kind of complicated to explain but there's a floor that goes over top of the other floor <laughs> so there's a couple floors in this boat um and then we're probably going to add some more stringers which stringers are these pieces that run through you can see like this piece is not good you know that's part of the stringer that's what holds the boat together so we're going to grind out everything on both sides we're going to cut the floor out uh, go all the way up there around the hot foot and just get everything grinded out and cleaned out and you know prepared to be prepared to put more core in it and then build the floor what bro what are you talking about man
that right there is our core. It's no good. Waterlogged. I cut that square out so I don't have to grind through that crap or that top layer. Let me see if I can. So that's our core. Garbage. All right, it's really, really hot. <laughs> Other than that, we're getting somewhere. I noticed this side is like halfway there, but halfway still good. Look at this. Hi guys, day three, we got the boat back out. It started raining last night. Uh, out of nowhere, you can see all the little dots, but uh, we got some core, came in. So we got four pieces that size. I think they're two by fours. That should be plenty. But what I'm gonna try to do today is get in the boat without killing myself. All right, so this edge here, right? So all that is is where they laid the core down. So I need to cut on the back side of that edge all the way down so I can get that flat edge again. And then I also need to get the little bit out right there, a little bit right there, and get that portion out and then figure out how I'm gonna deal with the back area. I think it's gonna be quite similar to how I got it cut already, but. So we're going to get the grinding wheel, get a new wheel put on there, and cut that whole edge all the way down, all the way down. And then I got the majority of the gel coat uh, sanded last night. So I think once I cut that out, I'll be able to get the vacuum, vacuum the boat out, maybe even wash it, like lightly, just to see what needs to be sanded still. Because I want to make sure I get a really, really good bond. So, yeah, and we also probably got to sand down this some more there's still some um core material left over but i got all the front portion pretty pretty well sanded i went around the edge and got it can straight to um fiberglass just for a better bond there's still some touch up i didn't do everywhere but we need to get this section cut out and get that get the back here completely uh gutted out i got nico about to pull up to my house here and he's gonna hang out for a little bit while I do this. But it's coming along. I didn't think the core would be here in two days, but it showed up. So we got core. We got two sheets of marine plywood. This is a brand new one. This is from like last year. When I originally planned on doing the floor, um, I used the corner of it. But the reason I, I got stopped was because I this piece broke. So I like I just didn't go get another piece forever. But now we got two pieces, that's plenty. We got plenty of core material. I have some fiberglass, we're probably gonna need more and we're definitely gonna need some resin. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab a cutting wheel and start going crazy on those, uh, the parts that I pointed out. Uh, go crazy, go stupid. Uh, uh, go crazy. Right 
I'm finding like screws. There's a screw. Oh, there's another one right here. There you go. I got two stainless screws. You're gonna get stuff on your arms. You gotta You're gonna be itchy. I'm fucking itchy already. <laughs> I've got <gotten> scurvy. <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe not so good. <laughs> oh, Got another one? Third one. Woo! You're screwed, bud. I am screwed. 